We're kind of used to it because her illness was for her entire life. We always had a positive attitude that came from her. My wife was such a strong person, but this one was different. Um, she just got sick so quick and everything changed. My son Christopher, out of my sight for a brief minute, managed to get into our pool at three and a half years old. He went brain dead. A day that no parent should ever have to go through. It was very hard because you just walk around dead and you're wondering, are you sure? You know, here I am questioning the Almighty God. Are you sure you could get me through this? We had the government shutdown. In my line of work and in federal uh, contracting, all the consultants, you know, weren't hiring anybody. They didn't have work. Um, so it was about four months total. And the hardest part in, in that situation, you don't know how long it's going to last. Before she turned five, she had nine surgeries. And it was literally just one very rare thing after another. They were unrelated things, but just one rare thing. And she was living in so much pain that she'd barely play for an hour to a day. This is WGTS 91.9 with a word of encouragement for you. If you feel like you're just going through a tough time and you're all alone, know that you know, God there's is times the right where yeah. you're leaving the doctor's the office and you're in tears because your daughter's still in pain and they still don't have answers. And the song can come on that can just give you hope and you just hand it over to God completely. We started going to the Gateway Fellowship. We actually heard about it on, on the radio station, and we started praying with each other. And these are people I didn't really know very well, but it just really felt good. Getting through my grief and the processes, I would get into my car and I would put on the radio station. As I'm listening to the radio station, hearing other people's testimonies, realizing I'm not alone in this, God is in control. He will hold me when I'm broken. One of the things that I deal with is, I never understood this before, but I can feel alone in a room full of people. I can feel alone with my best friends and my family. But that day, that radio station was one of the times I didn't feel alone. I felt comfortable all day. I, mean, I just felt like I was part of something that was so big and so wonderful. That Friday uh, afterwards, I got an offer. Within less than a week of submitting that request to Prayer Works, and knowing that other people are praying for me, this offer comes in. I mean, God came through in a way that I didn't expect. And then when she was finally pain-free, the three of us would just sing that out at the top of our lungs in the car, just praising God for all that He brought us through. And there's so many songs that can just jump out at you, whether you're happy or you're sad, that can just help you where you're at. It's not just the music, it's the stories in between. It's hearing about other people. And this radio station means the world to me because it helped me through the worst time of my life.